Hey guys, how's it going? This is Flood Mon 14 here, and we're back with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Now, I'm going to try to uh, get into a duel real quick, and I'm going to explain uh, some of the things that are going on <clears throat> as far as this Let's Play, because things might look a bit different. So let's see if we can find someone to duel here. Uh, yeah, because the last time I think we ended by getting beat by Joey, but... Oh, looks like we got a NPC to start things off. Hey, hey, I just saw a duel for the first time. And these monsters appeared and they were all realistic and scary. And they were roaring and growling. And, oh, you already knew that? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right. So let's see. That wasn't a duel. So let's see if we can find someone else to duel. Uh, oh, I just realized my mouse might be on the screen, so that's kind of dumb. I see a little green here. So someone is close by. Is it the same NPC, though? I don't know. And there we go. Is this someone? Ah, Grandpa! Grandpa Moto! Ho ho! Want to duel? Want to duel an old timer? I think this is the first time we've ran into Grandpa. Uh, yeah. Let's let's go. Cool. So, um, Casket Guardian. Yeah, Grandpa has kind of an uh, interesting deck in this series. So, who? <laughs> Man, kind of due to the view, I can't even really see the uh, rock paper scissors due to the new view. But I'll explain more about that as we get into this duel because this duel shouldn't be shouldn't be so bad. Shouldn't be too bad. And there we go. Alright guys, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Man, I'm so glad to be doing this again. Alright, first turn. So, as you can see here, the view is quite a bit different, but um, what I'm, what I'm doing here is basically, I'm focusing more on the, you know, on the top screen than, you know, the bottom, because, and, uh, let me, yeah, sorry guys, I'm kind of testing things out as far as this video. Uh, let's activate Pot of Greed. Start things off. That's always a good idea. Draw two cards. Alright, what do we got here? Horn Imp, Baron, Stimpak, and Arm Ninja. Well, for the first turn, I'm just gonna set Crass Clown. Uh, I didn't have any traps, did I? Yeah, sorry, this is gonna get some getting used to. Alright, there we go. We're gonna end our turn. Uh, but yeah, so, something uh, someone advised me of as far as this series is uh, unused space, definitely. Unused space. They, uh, uh, in the uh, previous duels, nice combo. Nice combo. Yeah, emergency provisions. You can send a card to the graveyard and gain a thousand, and he's going to gain more with uh, Poison of the Old Man, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, some of my. Uh, Friends, uh, they they kind of. I had one of them check out, you know, uh, this let's play series, and they said, "Well, the biggest thing is unused space." Because I was leaving the uh, the emulator uh, that I'm using here, I just kind of left that at the default size. Because uh, nice, we repelled the attack on that one. Because honestly, I was afraid that the like you know changing the size of it would slow down the speed but it looks like that isn't happening here which is good so all right draw i have to admit this is kind of different um altogether playing because i'm basically playing without seeing like <laughs> like the normally i'd be able to see my hand and everything but it's completely cut off for me um here at the bottom but it's kind of i don't know i'm i think i can maybe work with it Okay, now he has Dark Room of Nightmare out. Uh, I could destroy that with Armed Ninja, but honestly, I'm not too worried about the uh, the burn damage. So we'll just enter the battle phase, some battle ox, and do some damage. Uh, but yeah, that was one of the main critiques I got. Of course, the other one was it being slowed down. Um, not much I can really do about that. Uh, I think for most people, I'm, I'm using, uh, uh, of course, I think you guys know, but I'm using Desmume for the emulator I run on this. 
Uh, I think for most people, the speed will be fine, and the speed of the game will be, you know, pretty normal. Uh, so you probably won't, won't have any issues with it. I do. Um, which, but but it isn't slowed down like too much to where it's, you know, unplayable for a let's play or anything like that. So, so that's good. Uh, we have Suijin in hand, so maybe I'll try to summon it, but I don't know. Uh, looks like Grandpa, uh, as far as his strategy, I would assume, I think it'd be safe to assume, uh, looks like we won't get Suijin out, because he's gonna, yeah, kill Crash Clown, but that's okay. But honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of experimenting with it still here, but to me, the view looks, honestly, it looks good. Um, with it focused on the top screen, I mean, that's where most of the action does take place, so... Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I'll have to get used to, you know, <laughs> not being able to go to my hand straight away and stuff like that, but that's, that's no problem. It's definitely something I can get used to. Uh, with the top screen enlarged like this, it's almost like, <laughs> like I can, I can basically play off of this part. Like, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can probably see where I'm pointing at the screen, but yeah, I can basically play off the fact where, yeah, I see the cards in hand right there. And, nope, that's Horn Imp, so don't want to attack with that. Yeah. So this will be, this will be interesting. Um, yeah, guys, uh, let me know if you like the change. If you do, uh, I'll, of course, keep it in. If you want it back to where it was, then I will not. Uh, ooh, that's one thing I really didn't think about, but... I don't know how I'm really going to edit my deck with a, sc <laughs> with a screen like this. Um, good question. Good question, Iguata. Maybe I'll start, like, editing my deck in between videos and just, yeah, going from there. I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, looks like he has went to the defensive mode. Alright, we got Crawling Dragon. Now, I could play um, Suij in this turn, but I think what I want to do is... I'm going to go ahead and set Arm Ninja. I did set it right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Um, <laughs> and then I'll try to sacrifice Arm Ninja and uh, Horn M for Suij. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ordeal of a Traveler. Well played. Okay, what this card does is basically whenever you attack you have to declare a type of card monster card spell card and trap card and if you guess right you get to attack if you guess wrong ooh, there you go and with that you can see what grandpa's strategy is um yeah he mainly runs like ordeal of a traveler to stall you for life points and then he'll run um you know some other cards to stall you and of course he'll just try to keep drawing into Exodia so that's basically the strategy um, for Grandpa and uh, looks like he's also going with now Horn Imp can't take this down right no it cannot uh, so I'll switch Horn Imp to defense mode that only makes sense alright well luckily we didn't have anything returned to the hand so Actually, with Ordeal of a Traveler out, I may choose to not summon Suijin because, yeah, why summon it if there's a chance of it, you know, basically failing in the attack? That doesn't make much sense. So, yeah. Maybe what I decide to do here. Or, or, unprecedented move, I could... Because I think... Did I draw Crimson Ninja? I don't know. Let's see our hand. Well, if I draw Crimson Ninja, then it's pretty much... Yeah, it's pretty much safe to play Suijin. But looks like I did not get Crimson Ninja. I do have Negate Attack. Uh, so yeah, I'll set that. Um, Interesting. He has a face down card now, too. I kind of want to see what it is. So I'm going to use Arm Ninja on his face down card instead of Dark Room of Nightmare. 
Now, a funny thing about this, um, about Ordeal of a Traveler, Dark Coffin, okay. Yeah, the funny thing about Ordeal of a Traveler is I could actually use it against him, and I think I'm going to do that. So, we saw that he has a piece of Exodia, I forget which one, in his hand, but basically what I'm going to do with Arm Ninja is because it's left in attack mode now, and now I know what his face down card is, so I'm not afraid to attack. So I'm going to declare wrong on purpose, so I'm going to declare a spell card. So now I know for sure that that's the left leg of his hand, so the rest of my attacks, we're good to go. So there we go. And this time I'll guess right. Monster card. Yeah. So that's that's kind of an easy card to beat if he has one card in hand. Um, so, so that's one way you can take it down. But really if he has, you know, two different cards in hand, like a monster and maybe a trap, there's really, I mean, really you're just going to have to rely on either luck to attack or get rid of his ordeal of a traveler. Um, a very similar strategy to you know Joey's use of continuous traps as far as uh, needle wall and blind destruction um, except you know those you know destroy your monster which is in a way worse while this just sends it back to the hand so uh, just something to keep in mind when facing grandpa luckily he's pretty far away from getting Exodia how many cards do I have in hand? five? five okay so I'm good Alright, but it looks like we'll probably be able to land some direct attacks this next turn. Yeah, because he still has just one piece, and we know it's the leg. I forget which leg, right or left, I don't know. Wow, nice draws we're getting here. Um, so this turn, I will set Arm Ninja again, uh, and this time I'll destroy... Dark Room of Nightmare for sure. Uh, it's funny, he has that card, and I guess he did have Poison of the Old Man, but um, not seeing many other, you know, burn cards. Uh, and really, kind of like using a burn deck in an Exodia deck, that's... I mean, it's interesting, definitely, but um, that's not the way... I would run an Exodia deck in this game if I were you, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because that's the way you want to win for the most part, you know, is to use Exodia. So your opponent's life points, uh, you know, in a way, they really don't matter. So why, yeah, so why waste, you know, burn effects in an Exodia deck? I don't know, I don't know, maybe... Maybe that way, I guess, if your Exodia gets trashed, you still have a way to win. So maybe for that reason it's a good idea, but... I mean, honestly, I would put... I would focus more on, you know, drawing cards, as far as the strategy goes, than... Yeah, than burning. I would focus more on just stalling. Stalling... Stall to the wall. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, and draw, drawing cards. That's that's what I would... Yeah, if I were to make an Exodia deck, which I might in this game, I don't really know yet. But, um, just to show it off. But, uh, let's see. Looks like we can play Suiji in here. But he does have... You know what? No, I'm not going to play Suiji. Because he has an extra card in hand, and I just, you know... I want to make sure, you know, I want to make sure that Suijin doesn't return to the hand. Because that's, that's a waste, you know. Because uh, right now I have two chances to attack. Once again, I'm going to use Arm Ninja to scout his hand. Oh, okay. Tricky. So he has a Dark Coffin in hand, so he has one trap and one monster. Okay. So basically, this is 50-50 here. Um, so I'm just going to attack the Crawling Dragon. Yeah, like I said, 50-50. Uh, what do you guys think? I think... Monster card. Yes! Okay. <laughs> so 
So we got one attack through. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I definitely made the right move not playing Suijin. So there we go. And he's down to 2050. Yeah. All right. So we guess again. Um, now, is his hand getting shuffled here? Because if it's not, I mean, last time the trap was on the left, right? So let's guess trap. Oh, okay. Well, his hand is getting shuffled. Darn. Okay, Grandpa. You'll make it one more, one or two more turns, maybe. Uh, or deal with Traveler? Yes. Hmm. I'm going to guess trap? Oh, okay. Well, I only got one right, but that's okay. That's okay. Wow, one out of four. I, I did horribly on the odds there. <laughs> but hey, it's 50-50, so... Not much I can do about that. Uh, I think I have too many cards in the hand now, so I'm going to set Paralyzing Potion. How many do we have? Three, four, five, six. I guess I'll play Swords of Revealing Light. I mean, might as well. Got all these cards in my hand, so. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, what do you got, Grandpa? So. Wow, he just ended his turn. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so we draw. Hain Hain. Not a bad card. So I'm going to try to play Battle Ox. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and play Stim Pack. Because we're close to winning here. So if I can get whatever this equips to to land an attack, then, you know, that's, that's it. That's game. So let's try to attack with, you know, straight up just with Crawling Dragon here. Um, so we know two of his cards. One's Dark Coffin, one is a piece of Exodia. Let's just guess Monster Card. Yes! There we go. That's the game. Alright, so you played pretty good, Grandpa. You stalled us out pretty good, but, uh,. You are no match for my duelist intuition, old man. Too bad. <laughs> Alright. You win. Alright. Oh, I guess that's another thing that we really can't quite see. Or maybe you guys can't see. It's the uh, total, total of points we got. Wait, can you scroll down? And no, you can't really scroll down for that, so, uh, I don't know, in a way that kind of matters, but, eh, in some ways it doesn't, so. You're very good, but you should learn to take it easy. I don't think my ticker can take it. <laughs> oh, man, I like some of the comedy in this game. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Glad to get back to this game. Um... Uh, Oh, by the way, I'm recording this, uh, like, two days after Christmas. I think it's the... What is today's date? I think it's the 27th? Oh, yeah, since we are back in the room, let me just, uh... Let me just save here real quick. But, yeah, I'm recording this on the 27th, so... Yeah, uh, Merry Christmas to you guys, if you're... Yeah, watching this close to the holidays, and, uh, hope you have a Happy New Year, too. Alright, but with that, let's just go to sleep. Man, I need some water. I've been talking quite a while. Hmm. Alright. It's morning. Yeah, it is. You have mail. You got mail. You got mail. You got, you got, you got, you got. Goodbye. A uh, special bulletin from Kaiba Corp. Recent reports suggest that mysterious figures are attacking duels at night. Ah, now this event is triggered because, uh, yeah, last episode, I think we also ran into Yami Yugi for the first time. So you won't get this email until that happens. So, but this advance is, you know, the, uh, the story, uh, so to speak. We recommend you stay home at night, but if you must go out, please use extra caution. Ah, okay. So, now that that's triggered... Oops, I accidentally clicked on the bed. But now that that's been triggered... Um... What we need to do next in this game is we need to find 
uh, Shizuka, uh, Katsuya. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Serenity Wielder, Joey's younger sister, who is, I think you can see it in the video, is actually pictured here on the left. So, um, yeah, we need to find her, and we need to duel her, and that's the next thing you need to do. Now, the other thing you want to do is, despite the warning, uh, let me see if I can find a duel real quick here. Actually, while I'm talking about this. Um, despite the warning, you know, oh, don't go out at night, it's dangerous. No, ignore that warning. But what you want to do before you go out at night is save. Save, 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 save before you go out at night. That's what you want to do. Uh, let me see here. There we go. Well, it took a minute. Ah, Taya. One of the few undefeated duelists in the original show. I'm going to be as great as Yugi and Joey. Friendship is awesome. It's time to duel. Okay, Taya. <laughs> yeah, but uh, did I just say she's one of the few undefeated duels? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, it's kind of funny. Like, you wouldn't think so based on, you know, the show. Like, you know, most of the better duelists... Uh, you would think somebody like maybe Yugi, Yami Yugi, or Kaiba would be undefeated. Well, not Kaiba, I guess, because he lost to Yugi, but... Uh, no, actually, they all have had their losses for one reason or the other. If you count filler, if you count filler, uh, Yami Yugi only lost in filler, I think... No, 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 he lost to Kaiba, too, that's right. So, yeah, uh... You would you would think that like, uh, well actually, what did we get here? We got Mooka Mooka, right? Yeah. How many cards do I have in hand? Uh, five. Yeah, because I used Pot Agree. That's right. So I'm actually gonna set Mooka Mooka because that's a pretty good card. And I will end my turn. But yeah, you wouldn't think that uh, <laughs> Taya Gardner, right, of all people, is undefeated. Uh, in the original show, but she is like the only two people she dueled. Oh, and, yeah, that's a smart move, Taya. Just summon Penguin Knight <laughs> in attack mode. Uh, shout out to Penguin Knight making an appearance in this series. Uh, I also use him in uh, Dawn of Destiny, so and he's pretty good. He's pretty good there. Uh, but Taya's kind of playing him like not very wisely here. Um, uh, but what was I saying about Taya being undefeated? Um, yeah, yeah, she only duels, uh, what, like twice in the show? And once versus uh, Mai in Duel's Kingdom, and she, Mai surrenders, because I don't know why, but Mai surrenders. <laughs> um, and the other duel is in the uh, virtual world, and she duels uh, the penguin guy. <laughs> Uh, what is his name? His name, uh, Crump, I think. Penguins, you know. <laughs> uh, it's such a funny thing. But yeah, she duels that guy and somehow pulls a win out there too. So, yeah, those are her only two duels and she wins them both. So, yeah, pretty, pretty cool little fact about Taya. Uh, now she set a card... I think I want to play Fairy Meteor Crush on Mooka Mooka. That way we can do some uh, piercing damage. Looks like Mooka Mooka will be sticking around a while. Uh, what time are we at? 24 minutes? Yeah, I think we're good. I think we can keep going. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's kind of been a while. Oh! <laughs> Penguin Knight in stereo. Awesome. I like Penguin Knight too, Taya. Don't get me wrong. I like it. I like using it in Dawn of Destiny. Because a lot of people try to deck you out there. But um, I'm not trying to do that. So it's kind of a useless card if I'm not trying to deck you out, homie. That's all right. Uh, speaking of Dawn of Destiny, yeah. Um, uh, this recording session is... Uh, last recording session I had started, I think I said in one of the videos, but I started somewhere around September. Uh, this recording se session I hope to do, yeah, once again, do about, uh, you know, about five videos, but 
Um, nice, D spell. Uh, but depending on time. Oh, wait, chain. Uh, what do I have face down? I forgot. Oh, magic train. Right, right. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, you can get rid of my card if you want, but you're going to have to get rid of one of your other spell cards. Ah, you don't have any other spell cards, or maybe you wanted to save your other spell cards. So, ha! All right, that means we're still going to do piercing damage, which means this duel will be wrapped up pretty quickly, I think. So let's just go with... <laughs> And once again, we kind of got the spirit cards in this game. Uh, Sword of Dark Destruction and Whiptail Crow. I mean, <laughs> dude, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it seems like, seems like every episode, those two cards are like in my hand. I don't know. <laughs> like, that is so weird, but yeah, it that's that's just the way... Nightmare Troubadour works. Um, Whiptail Crow is the man. Or the bird. The fiend. What is what is Whiptail Crow? It, well, it's a crow, obviously. So he is the man. Ah, getting your D-spell back. Well, it's not really going to help you, Taya, because we've already won. Turn 7. Yeah, that was a pretty quick one. She didn't really stall us out like uh, Grandpa did. I'm going to get a drink. Ah. So we win that duel as well. All right, GG, Taya. You're you may be undefeated in duel monsters, but you're not undefeated here. I think I've beaten her every time, right? Yeah, the only person I've lost is to Joey twice officially. So, all right, and we got some more points for that. What do you got to say for yourself? I lost! How frustrating! Friendship rules! How dare you! <laughs> okay, Taya. Alright. Yeah, another thing about the screen being enlarged here is I can't really, you know, click on the home icon like I usually do and save in between duels. So that might be... I don't know. I don't think it'll be too big of a problem. Ha ha ha! Welcome! One on one, me and you! <laughs> All right, Mokuba. Let's see if you can hax me with your uh, beast deck this time. It's Mokuba. Oh yeah, Flood's Paradise, <laughs> dude. I forgot I named my deck that, but that's that's a cool name for a deck. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I played this, but that's okay. Uh, but so far, as far as the uh, technical issues are going, it looks. I mean, I like this better. I really do. Um, like I said, uh, if you don't like it, uh, leave me a comment. And uh, oh yeah, speaking of that, speaking of comments, um, I was uh, yeah, I was uh, uploading uh, an episode of Dawn of Destiny the other day, and we're just gonna end our turn. And I noticed that uh, like yeah, the for this series, Nightmare Troubadour, the first episode that I have of this was up to I think it was like 52 views or something like that and that's um that's pretty cool um uh that's yeah most of my videos I mean uh of course I as you guys see like I try on every video you know I, I make it you know best as I can commentary you know best as I can and uh just you know roll with it whatever happens happens you know we just, you know, this this is kind of a chill thing. We're just sort of a, a chill... I mean, this channel isn't very popular. Uh, and if it, 50 views, that's like... That's not, you know... Um, I'm going to use the effect of Crass Clown here. That's not like, you know, uh, glass shattering <laughs> as far as the views. But it, but it kind of is as far as this channel goes because most of my videos seem to have about a consistent number of around 20 or so views so yeah whoever you are those 20 uh thanks for watching hey i appreciate it you know um all the support helps but this one has yeah the first episode was up to like i said 50 um, fi if you compare it yeah 20 compared to 52 that's that's double like in compared to everything else so 
I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, thanks. And uh, yeah, keep watching. Stay tuned for more. Feel free to subscribe if you want to subscribe. Leon Curry. Hey, I have that card in Dawn of Destiny. And it actually, I think, helped me out a time or two. All right, what do we get? Baron. Double Baron. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, whoever you are uh, that's watching, hey, thanks for... Uh, now, I have Fairy Meteor Crush, but I kind of want to save it for if I can get Suijin out. That seems like a good idea. Fairy Meteor Crush on Suijin. Uh, now, he did have Griff War, which I returned to the hand, so let me attack. Perfect. Perfect. Haha, <laughs> Mokova. KO'd your monster by 50 points. Alright, Baron Legendary Feed Saber Slash. I don't know why, but I decided to make that attack name sound very, very epic, even though it's very... <laughs> and look at Crest Clown, man. He's just sitting in there, you know, dancing on top of his ball, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I returned your monster to your hand. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know, man. That's why I like this game. You know, some of the animations just, um, they're, they're kind of funny, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Crass Clown would definitely be the prankster of my deck. That's that's for sure. I mean, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely the class clown. Crass Clown is the class clown. Man, try saying that five times fast. Oh, man. Muyan Curry. Man, he loves that card. Muyan Curry OTK. All right. Mokuba's not putting up much of a fight here. But that's cool with me, man. That's that's fine by me. I'll just uh, I'll summon a little Suijin. I think this is the first time we're summoning Suijin, guys. So, hey, shout out to... I think this is the second Gate Guardian piece we've summoned in the series. So, here it is. Bam, Suijin. And that's what he looks like. He kind of looks, I don't know, a little weird. But if you consider that the Gate Guardian monster card is made of, you know, three different pieces, then um, it, I guess it kind of makes sense why he looks, you know, incomplete in a way. But I like him. Suijin is cool. And his effect is really good. Alright, Suijin. Tidal Surge Attack. I think that was the name of the attack from the show, wasn't it? Tidal Surge? It sounds right. It sounds, it sounds pretty close. Really, you could use that attack name for basically any aqua or water monster that attacks. It just sounds cool. Tidal Surge. All right, and we will finish Mokuba off with Battle Ox. Saber Slash. Cool. All right, and that is another win in the books. Oh yeah, that's uh, something else I was thinking about doing for this series. That's right. I, I remember saying something about this last time, but maybe like cutting out the early morning duels because they're just so, they're so easy. But um, yeah, I probably still don't want to do that for a while because like um, the person we're looking for, uh, Serenity, she is usually found in the early morning duels. And actually we haven't ran into... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> and actually, we haven't uh, ran into all the duelists that there are, you know, available in this game yet. So, yeah, for those reasons, I probably don't want to cut them out yet. But, uh, hmm, let me see if we can, man, someone is close here, whoever it is. Someone is, there we go. They just didn't want to spawn. Taya again? All right. I'll take you on. Uh, what time are we at? 34. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be as great as you can, Joey. It's time to duel. Alright. I think you said that last time, too, right? Magic stage. Alright, let's do it, Taya. I will select scissors once again because it seems to be winning. Oh, no. Ah, you picked rock. Smart. Um, you know, one thing I could do. While we're still waiting for characters to show up, I think one thing I could do that I just thought of that's a pretty good idea 
is oh my god are you serious <laughs> petite moth in attack <laughs> like what are you doing oh my god. the thing only has like what 300 attack Taya are you even trying to win girl like what are you doing dude this thing look it only has 300 attack oh my god um, yeah, I mean, maybe if you're smart, you'll have trap hold down, but no, you don't have that. Well, better hope you have negate attack or something. I mean, uh, hollowed life bear. I guess that works. That, yeah, that works. Okay, okay. But still, why would you? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Be serious. Get serious. Um,. We got Sword of Dark Destruction, so we'll probably draw Whiptail Crow again in this duel, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I might want to end things off after this video. Although, I don't know, one of the Dawn of Destiny episodes that I was commentating, it got up to like almost 50 minutes, and I was surprised by that. I was like, there's no way like my cell phone, you know, has enough... Uh, you know, memory or or whatever to uh, we'll set time machine. Time machine's a good trap card. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking, I was like, there's no way my cell phone has you know enough memory to carry for 50 minutes. But yeah, sure enough, I looked on that. I think it was the Dawn of Destiny episode where we lost to Yami Yugi. Moki Moki. <laughs> Sorry, that that's just how you gotta say that card's name uh, when he came out in the show, like. Oh man, that, that duel with uh, Jaden and, uh, what was his name? Oh yeah, the little uh, Balowski. Yeah, that was so cool, man. Like, And that that guy sounded high the entire duel. It's like, alright. <laughs> no, no, I, no. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, it's all about the balance, man. <laughs> like, and he's like, human wave tact is restores balance in my deck, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Reign of Mercy, that's a cool card. At least I gained a thousand points too. I'll take that. But it kind of helps her stall out, I suppose, so. That's not cool. Uh, we have Fiend Energy. I mean, Dark Energy. Um. Wait, what's my face down? I forgot already. My face down is. Oh, Time Machine. Right, 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 right. Well, I think. Can Crass Clown take Dark Energy? Because if it can. I think I'll equip it to him, and I'll use the effect to return this face down, because I, I don't know what it is, so let's just get it off the field. Oh yeah, Dark Energy does work on him. Okay, cool, so uh, Dark Energy to Crash Clown. I'll take it, and I think that makes Crash Clown... I guess I could have equipped Sword of Dark Destruction to him too. Oh, and I had Fairy Meteor Crush, so that's a whoops on my part. I probably could have done, I definitely could have done more damage this turn. Okay, but now that I've noticed it, I can do, no, I don't want to use Time Machine on her card. Wow, I don't know, that's interesting that you can use Time Machine on the opponent's card. I imagine there's some really, really, you know, cheeky... You know, lol, lol's combo that you can do with that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. What time are we at? Oh boy, 37 minutes. Yeah, um, by the way, I'm just gonna say this now. But this duel is just with Taya, and as you guys have seen already in this episode, she's not, you know, really too hard. So if the video cuts off, you know, at some point here, I'm just gonna keep commentating like it's not. But if it does cut off at some point, that's basically just the end of the episode, and I'm um, sorry that it got cut off, but Taya was restoring her life points and stalling for time. So, yeah. Not a big deal, I don't think. So, okay, Sword of Dark Destruction, here we go. Well, we didn't draw Whiptail Crow with this. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm in shock, in a way. Alright, so we're just going to really soup up Crass Clown. Oops. No, go back to my hand. There we go. And Fairy Meteor Crush on Crass Clown. There we go. That should help speed up the duel a little bit. So, so yeah, like I said, sorry if the duel cuts out early. 
I don't think it's a big deal. You probably don't think it's a big deal. It's just Taya. I mean, she's not. She's not going to win. You can't win. All right, class clown. Dancing, spinning, scythe attack. Once again, I don't know why I came up with the epic name, but... I mean, it seems like that's what he would use, right? Because um, he's dancing on that thing, and look at that scythe. I mean, it's like the Grim Reaper or something. All right, and Skell Angel. Let's draw a card, right? Yeah. Okay. And we will have Great White Shock attack. No, I don't want to use Time Machine. Great White. Killer Instinct. That that sounds like a cool name for an attack, too. Hell, heck yeah. But um, I'm definitely... 5,000 left. Alright, cool. I'm definitely glad to be in another recording session of this. Um, I don't know. I'm excited to play this game again. Just hearing the music and really the overall design of the game. I, I, I really like it. I, I like this game quite a bit. Alright, so if, if we can draw a monster with about 1,700... I think we'll win. Uh, hey, hey, not the monster I was looking for, but at the same time, it can return one of hers to the hand, so that might help us in the duel as well. All right, Great White, Killer Instincts in stereo. All right. So yeah. Um, in between episodes, I might like do like I said and write down some of the, the cards from the um I think I'll write down maybe the cards from the first two card packs and that way in the next episode um yeah unless we like run into a new duelist or anything we keep running into people like Taya and Mokuba, that way I can talk about, I can just basically, you know, share the card list, because knowledge is power, um, both in life and in this game. No, I don't want to return Crest Cloud. There we go. Turn her monster. Battle phase. Oh, looks like the recording's still going, so we will get this all in one episode. But yeah. I think in between episodes, like I said, I'll write down, you know, by hand, the card list for some of the first packs, and I'll just kind of discuss it in the middle of some of the easier duels. But, uh, looks like we win. Uh, in this episode, we did run into one new duelist, Grandpa, Grandpa Moto, uh, Yugi's Grandpa, so that's pretty cool. And yeah. Yep, moved up the story as far as getting that uh, important mail. So there we go. I lost. How frustrating. Sorry, Taya. All right, so guys, that is, and it is exactly about four o'clock where I'm, where I'm at here. So with that, I think we're gonna end this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Nightmare Troubadour.